One thing that's been really exciting for me investigating the Must Farm textiles is the the range of different fibres and fabrics at the site. So not only are the bundles of prepared plant fibre, there are also threads, um, there are woven textiles, but as well as woven textiles there are other fabrics made from plant fibres and this is a fabric um, called twining or weft twining which you might think of as a basketry technique the way that people are using this in different ways so sometimes using twining to make quite coarse fabrics that could have been some type of mat or something to use on the walls but also it can be used to make delicate and, and fine looking objects and there's a beautiful uh, circular piece of this twining with additional tufts added in and it's very curious what that might be um, some people think it looks like a tassel, but there's you know, further investigation on that to know what it is. There's also knotted nets which are made out of plant fibres. You can see the meshes and how they've been knotted together. And maybe those nets were used for carrying loads of fodder or leaves or maybe for fishing. So there's a good diversity of finds at the site which really helps us understand the households, what's going on, um, the range of these different organic materials within late Bronze Age um, settlements such as Must Farm. It's been a great experience working with the team at Must Farm. The Must Farm excavation is directed by Mark Knight and he's uh, working with the Cambridge Archaeology Unit and the excavation and the, the finds analysis so far is funded by Historic England and they've been doing a great job putting together a really super team of different specialists, highly skilled um, excavators digging the site and it's been a real pleasure to work with them.